Now, hopefully you got a little bit of outdoor time this past weekend or even earlier today with the cooler temperatures we've been seeing across much of the region. But thing is, we're actually going to be seeing less daylight to be out and about for as we head throughout the next several weeks, getting a little bit closer to fall and eventually towards winter. Now, today, the sunset's going to be closer to 737, and we're seeing about 12 hours and 57 minutes of daylight, but that's going to look to continue to change as we head throughout the next several weeks. Take a look at this. This is going to be burning daylight. The next sunset times, week one, we're going to already be going down to 726. Week two, 714, and four weeks out, we're back into the 6 o'clock hour for the sunset and watch the daylight continue to fizzle away as we get deeper into this upcoming fall time. Now, eventually, eight weeks away, we're looking at 612 for that sunset time. The main reasoning of this is actually having to do with the Earth's tilt. So when we are going around, we're at a 23 and a half degree angle. So as it continues to kind of span around the orbit of the sun, we're actually going to see the northern hemisphere facing further away from the actual sun, not necessarily in direct sunlight like we typically see as we head off into the summer months. So after the summer solstice, we're going to see days continue to get shorter and shorter until eventually the winter solstice, which is going to be the least amount of daylight we'll see for the entirety of the year. Now, with that being said, that affects a lot of us in ways that we don't even know. So plants will see leaves starting to change a lot of times. That's going to be kind of the photo period is what we call that for the leaves actually starting to change color, less photosynthesis starting to occur. And in animals, you'll start to see the start of migration. Eventually, weather does play a factor in that, but the start of that's going to be actually the photo period of the amount of daylight we see for the actual daytime. Now, eventually, humans are going to also be seeing the effect of that. Melatonin levels will actually start to decrease or head increase as we head off into the upcoming fall and winter months, which means that you might be feeling a little bit more sleepy and tired into the fall and winter months.